Good morning, everyone. It is November 24th, 2022, Thanksgiving. And I'm here this morning at 7.24 a.m. I'm going to be doing my daily vlog here. As I've been trying to stay, stay that way, but it's a little hard at times. Um, but today I felt I really need to get this one out here because I need to say what I'm thankful for because it's Thanksgiving. And uh, what I'm most thankful for this year is I am very thankful that God is back in my heart full time. Uh, many years have slipped by where yeah, I was on and off with God, praying once in a while here and there. You know, I knew he was there for me, but I didn't really just, you know, devote my life to him. And this year, uh, back in March, as of March uh, 4th, I believe it was, I was ordained. And uh, I gave my full life to Christ. And here I am now, a minister. Um you know, doing my uh, daily vlogs, putting the Word of God out there at times, and sharing the Word of God to whoever wants to listen. I don't force it on people. I'm not one of them kind of people, but if people want to listen, I'm willing to talk about it. Or I'm also, like, sometimes I'll be out in the lobby in my building, and people just feel the need to come up and just talk to me if they're having a hard day, and it's it's crazy how they don't even see me as a minister but they just want to come up and talk to me you know yeah I'm having a rough time Will you know just things aren't going right right now and I'm like yeah oh, what's going on you know and so they, we sit and talk and you know I help them if I can give them a little bit of good advice if I can you know if not I try and point them in the right direction where they could get advice so I mean I guess I've been doing this for a while. I just, you know, never really did it, uh, you know, uh, how would you say, um, uh, how would you put it? I, I don't even know how to say it. in the morning for me still, so. <laughs> but um, but I, I'm, I'm just glad to have God in my heart. And um, he has given me life again because without him I wouldn't be here there's been many times over the years where I I shouldn't be here and uh, I'm I'm here and uh, just recently um, I lost a good friend um, his name was Sean and uh, he was a very health conscious guy when I when I knew him when I first met him and um, he was always about taking care of himself going to the gyms and stuff like that and uh, taking uh, vitamins and everything and but the one thing was he was a workaholic he would always be working whether it was his regular paid job or his kind of like a volunteer job that we through how I met him was uh, I was doing a TV show and uh, well kind of like a TV show well, yeah it was it was on TV called Justice for All and um, he was the producer basically of it and he would distribute my shows throughout the uh, nation and we were on different channels um, I forget how many cable networks but um, so he, he that's how I met him and really nice guy really great guy to be around he had a little rough edges and, and me and him would talk and and, and you know and, and it was it was so nice when it was just me and him talking because the character that he had for his show would go away uh, he had he admitted to me he had a very hard time of letting go of that character and that character was always uh, in the picture when he was talking to everyone and anybody else. He would have that character going. And that character 
really was an annoying character and very not a good character to him. And I kept trying to tell him, man, you, you if you want to get places in life, you got to stop with that kind of talk, man. You can't you can't talk that way, man. People aren't going to respect you and stuff, you know. And he's like, yeah, I know. I just I, it's my character, and I just you know. So I don't know if he was having some psychosis or something going on, but we we talked quite a bit. And he actually, for a while there, as far as I know, he the character went away unless he was actually on um, unless he was like you know doing his show, you know, uh, which is good. You know, he got control of the character and and was using that way. And I was very proud of him. You know, he was, he was like I said, he's a great guy. And, um, he, you know, just recently passed away of a heart attack, and, uh, that's why I just, I'm, I'm blown away because he was always health conscious and everything, but I guess, uh, you know, me and him, over the several years, we've kind of lost touch, so we, we only, we message each other back and forth here and there, and he takes what I put here on YouTube, he puts that on the show. Uh, since I haven't really been in the studio or anything doing any shows or anything, so he just takes what I put on YouTube here and puts it in the show. So um, I don't know if you put any of the new stuff on there yet or not. I don't have cable that way where I can watch that kind of cable. It's on in the middle of the night at some weird channel on Spectrum TV, so I don't know. But um, uh, he... Uh, but I, I've been finding out through other people that he was having health issues, and I, I just can't believe that. I mean, like, he was always a good guy. So he was always health conscious and going to the gym, working out and stuff. But like I said, I know he was very, a wor he was a big workaholic. And I think his body and brain just didn't catch up to each other at one point. And that's, you know, very sad. He was a great guy. He, he was loved by many. He he had his own show as well. Um, uh, <laughs> it's just it, it's it's been hitting me even harder the past couple of days because it's, it's starting to sink in now. I, I heard about it. Um, what uh, was it Monday? I know. Uh, I heard a couple of days ago and. Uh, and uh, I was told he, it happened, I guess, on a Friday. He, he passed away, so. Um, today's Thursday, so. Uh, it's taken a couple of days to sink in. And it's not easy because also the fa weird factor is, this is the strangest thing is, I, I, last week I was going to call him and say, hey, man, how's it going? Just so you know, I'm still alive and kicking because, you know, last time I talked to him there was, a possibility I wasn't going to be around much longer because of my health. So I was going to call him last week, and I just got too busy, and I never did. And uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is if something puts you in the mood to call somebody and just say hi and reach out to somebody, don't hesitate. Don't get too busy. Stop what you're doing and do it. Because who knows what could happen if I actually talked to him. Maybe there could have been something he could have told me about his health and I could have told him to go get help or something. I don't know. There's a million what ifs. Or there's maybe nothing I could have done. Maybe it just would have been the last time I talked to him. I don't know. But um, I just feel that it would have been... Better if I, if I did reach out to him and get a, you know, hold on. Um, but that's just me. I mean, it's, I always feel that way. When things happen like this, I, I always, I always find some way to, you know, think I, I could have done something to help, you know, stop it. Uh, I guess it's the hero complex in me. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I just, uh, oop. Hang on a second. I don't know why that shut off. And my 
my screen shit off here. <clears throat> okay. Anyways, um, I hear bagpipes playing. That's weird. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so today's Thanksgiving, um, we did have the parade last, uh, Friday, or not Saturday, sorry, Saturday we had the parade, I did not attend, I did not attend the parade, unfortunately, because I wasn't sure, um, with the cold weather being the way it was, <laughs> Uh, family is uh, 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 Facebooking everybody happy Thanksgiving on the messenger app there. Now, that's my other rule is normally I don't if I get messages like just like that I just did now normally I, I bug out because it's not 8 o'clock I don't accept messages before 8 o'clock unless somebody's having an issue but that was family, and it's Thanksgiving, of course, so I give an exception, so, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I know I'm not, I'm not a morning person, but once I have my, at least one cup of coffee in me, we're going on just a little bit left, so I'm good to go, I'm not ripping anybody's heads off, I know, yes, a pastor, you can't talk like that. Well, like I said, I'm the modern day pastor. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a modern day pastor. I'm, I'm an old school kind of pastor. You know, we, 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 uh, we, we, we're not, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm not your new school pastor, though. No, I'm not these, you know, yuppie type, no, I shouldn't say that. But I'm, I'm not, I'm not your normal pastor, okay? I do things unorthodox, let's put it that way. I do things differently. I shake it up a little bit. Just like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did. He shook things up a little bit. <laughs> <coughs> I kind of take after him. <coughs> I'm a rebel with a cause. <laughs> so... But, uh, come on. There we go. I'm using my iPad for a timer, and it keeps uh, going black on me. It goes to the lock screen. i got to figure out how to turn that off so I don't have to worry about it. Because I keep having to hit the button if I do. Anyways, so I'm going to leave it there for that. I'm going to spend about... You know, a little over 13 minutes. We're going to end it here. And um, I hope you all have a good Thanksgiving. Don't eat too much. Remember, folks, you know, you got you to gotta conserve on the, on the bellies, you know, you know. But do have a good meal. And most of all, spend it time with your loved ones. Um, I, unfortunately... Won't be with anybody today. I'd be here by myself, but uh, I do have some family that will be dropping food by, though. Thank God. So I don't have to cook today, but I do have a turkey and everything because they did give us a turkey basket here, and uh, I will be cooking that uh, soon. I just have to get the the, the turkey pan and, and some aluminum foil and stuff to cook it in. So uh, that I got to get still. Um, but uh, I think my dad's supposed to drop that off on Friday. He said so. I'll see how that one goes on Black Friday. Um, <laughs> but anyway. <coughs> I still have this dry, dry cough. I don't know what to do about it, but... It's gotten a little better, though. It's not full-time anymore, thank God. Okay, so... With that being said, I will now let y'all go. Y'all have a great day. You know, happy Thanksgiving. 
Enjoy it with your family and your loved ones. Don't eat too much. Because remember that trip to family is going to put you to sleep. you got to watch the football game. Well, I, I'm not going to watch a football game. Some people do. But if you want to, if you want to stay awake during the football game, you're going to watch. You're, you're going to watch what you eat. <laughs> All right, everybody. I love you. God bless. And remember, I love you, and God loves you.